one and all. Happy for this gathering, holding a holistic cause that caters to environmental, social, healthy, and noble, and the list is of course endless. And uh, we are fortunate to have an apt person inclined towards this topic, Green Fingers. It's Mrs. Malathi. Good morning, Ka. So Mrs. Malathi, she's a renowned women detective. She's an environmentalist. Wait, I would like to share my presentation along with it. Just hold on. So guys, hope you can see my presentation. Hope this even goes with the cause. Am I right? Hope you all understand that. So uh, I'm glad to introduce Mrs. Malathi. She's an uh, yes, women director. She's an environmentalist. She has planted more than 15,000 trees on the roadside when she was a president of Ex Exnora Innovators Club. She's an expert in organic terrace gardening and she's fondly known as Agriaka and loved by everyone and plants, of course. Around Chennai, she has pioneered, she's, uh, she pioneered tree planting under the guidance of government. Her gardening exploration started at the tender age of seven and her, and her mother is always her inspiration. She owns a beautiful home kitchen garden and few farms that is being grown from only using water and kitchen waste. That's how she grows nutrition, rich, green, fresh, and homegrown organic vegetables. She's an entrepreneur as well. She's a successful entrepreneur and inspiration to all fellow women. She gives the best guidance to all those who are interested to become entrepreneurs. Right from her young days, she has been a go-getter and has been positive in all approaches of her life. Interacting with people from all walks of life, she developed an attitude towards social well-being and related social skills. Realizing that future of her generation is in the hands of younger generation, she took up the task to mold them as responsible citizens pro by providing guest lectures and entrepreneurship, business management, environmental activities, colleges, etc. As a specialist, she has offered guidance to self-help group yeah. women in manufacturing digital products. Every person on the solid terrain, and you will not come down. Every person, 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 Thank you. Thank you for joining us. So let me call upon others be on mute. I'll call upon Aradhya to, to inaugurate this function with a prayer song, please. Oh, Masmat Kuribhyo Namaha 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 Nam we also welcome Mr. Sumati Prakash, who was our first guest lecture. Welcome, uh, Mr. Sumati. Sorry, yeah. Auntie. Aradhya, can you start with a prayer song, please? Okay, sorry. Om Mastakura Bhyo Namaha Om Namah Paramarshi Bhyo Namah Paramarshi Bhyaha Om Namah Paramarshi Bhyo Namah Paramarshi Bhyaha Om Purnam Idam Purnam Adaha Purnam Purnam Udachyate Purnam Sya Purnam Adaya Purnam Eva Vashishyate Om Isha Vasimita Om Om Isha Vasimita Ita Gunsarvam Ikkim Chajagati Aam Jagat Tina Chakkena Gunjitaha Nagutakasya Suttanam, Kasya Pandaya Sanjatam, Narayana Padashutam, Sriman Narayanam Vande, Ati Swarasriya Adusham. Thank you, Aradhyo. And a very good appreciation goes to you all. Can you see the presentation today? We have got a letter from New Hope and New Life Orphanage. You can see the letter from the administrator there. Can you guys look at it? The can I read it out? The screen is all black. Can't 
see. Can you see now? Can you no, see now? It's still black. Mommy, stop. No. Okay, I can read out. I can read it for you. We express with our gratitude that the donation of rupees four thousand for rice provision, soap, biscuits, and snacks. For the benefits of food, clothing, stay, and educational needs of destitute and orphanage children, as well as educational services to children from Gypsy community, also. It is used for children, widows, destitute women, and the elder elderly of the most backward tribal communities, even more to support the food and clothing needs of those who are affected by leprosy and HIV, and the children's education for their industrial education and poor children. As it is said, whatever you do, to these de to these uh, needy ones you are doing to god there is no doubt that god will bless you your family your children your business your work your future and your generations thank you so this is from the organizer of new hope and new life orphanage as of you two guys it's all because of you all so you can applaud for yourself guys everyone those who participated good can i call upon aradhya you can start with the program now you can start with Aradhya, you can unmute yourself and you can start your presentation, please. Is Aradhya online? Yeah, can you unmute and you can talk, Aradhya? Yeah, so uh, can I do a live presentation? Yeah, please share your screen if so. Okay. Louder, please. And the event is recorded one. Uh, it's it's not like it's not screen recorded. It's it's a bunch of videos, but they're pretty. Okay, simple. you can share your screen. Okay. Can I don't. Do have okay, then get ready, Aradhya, with your screen presentation. I'll call upon Hamsini now. Hamsini, I'll, I'll share now. your. Hamsini can be first in line then. If Aradhya is getting ready. I'm ready. You are ready? Then okay, continue. Left. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you presenting? Yeah. What happened? You are not able to see your screen. You know? No, I am able to see your screen. Be louder, please. Okay, so am I sharing? Aradhya, we are not able to see you see your screen, dear. You should be prepared before the program. Uh, isn't it? Am I sharing? Okay, do one thing. You can ask Hamsini to talk. You can share your presentation to me. I'll do it for you. Amsini, can you start your presentation? I'll present it for you now. But first, I don't know how to share my presentation. Okay, you share with me in chat. I'll ask Hamsini to present now. Okay. Hamsini, I'm presenting it for you. Can you please start, Hamsini? I don't see your screen. I'll share my screen now. Okay. You can start, Dior, please. Okay, so this is my gardening project. I, I planted coriander. What do you need to plant? What do you need to plant coriander? I got one cup of water, six coriander seeds, one pot that has holes on the bottom, one small shovel, soil, and gloves. Take some, first for the soil step. Take some soil, put the soil in the pot and flatten the soil with your fingers. So Auntie, these are videos. You have to move your mouse on top of the pictures and then they'll, and they are videos. No, but, I'll just present it like this, Aradhi Amsini. Okay. Uh, uh, could you put the seeds slide? Seed slide, yes. Yeah. So you put six coriander seeds on top of the soil. Cover, cover the seeds with a small layer of soil and flatten the soil with your fingers. You have to water one cup carefully and, make sure that the soil and the seeds. Make sure the seeds stay underwater. 
and the excess water will come out of the holes on the bottom. Water one cup every day. Five days later, this, there's small growth, small growth on the plants. Nine days later, that's how it looks today. Thank you. Parad, Hamzani is done, Akka. Hello? Hamzani? Yes? Hamzani? Are you online? Yes. Hello? Yeah. Have they started growing, Ma? Yes, they have. Ah, okay, very nice, and uh, you can uh, uh, you can do so many things. Uh, coriander is a very tough one to grow, so you have done a great job. So lots of uh, elderly people uh, ask me how to go grow coriander. I think I can show yours for them. <laughs> very mm -hmm. nice, but uh, watering you do it daily. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, watering you can do it alternate day. It okay. doesn't require coriander, doesn't require much water. Oh. Okay, and uh, till your uh, uh, coriander starts growing, every alternate day will be a best idea. Okay. Okay. After it grows, you can spray some water on top of it with the spray. Do you have a sprayer? Do you have yeah. a sprayer? You can spray on top of it. Yeah. Very nice, very good, very good effort and very good explanation. Thank you. Yeah. Well, presented. Hamsuni, good. Is Aradhya ready or she's just jungling with the presentation? Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where my sister put her presentation so that. And I can okay, do a help. You share it with um, uh, your madam or uh, auntie so that you know she will share it for you. Yeah, I don't know. You I can put it in the chat. Okay. I'll call put... upon uh, Atira to finish it before uh, uh, Aradhya gets ready. Atira, can you unmute and you can uh, deliver your speech? Hi, Atira. Good evening. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can very well hear you. Uh, good okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, one minute. Let me share my screen. Yes, please. Atira, you're able to share? Uh, yeah, one minute. Can you see? Mm, no, we don't. We don't see your presentation. Can you share with me, Atira? Hamsini, I've already shared it. No, I'm sharing it. I'm almost done. Okay, then Atira, you two can share with me. Okay, can I ask the next in line to speech to speak? Yeah, both Atira and uh, Aradhya, you guys share your screen with me, okay? You share your presentation with me. I can present for you. Meanwhile, I'll call upon Dakshin to give his presentation. Okay, Dakshin, are you ready? Yes. Yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Okay, good. I'll share your presentation, dear. Good morning, everyone. This is Dakshin. I'm just presenting yours. Just hold on. Yeah. Dakshin, you can start. Good morning, everyone. This is Dakshin Janardan. I am going to talk. Of, I'm going to take you all for a tour of my little garden. This is the Tulsi plant so that is kept at the entrance of my house health benefit of Tulsi plant. It helps in relieving stress. It lowers blood losses, promotes healthy liver function, lowers, lowers cholesterol, cholesterol, Help in cold and seasonal flu, both flu boosts immune system has antibacterial properties. 
This is the better leaves, better leaves, helps, heals back pain, improves digestion, increase appetite, heals the weight, constipation, reduces headache, and prevent cancer. This is the hibiscus flower which is at the back of my house. Hibiscus flower helps in fighting cold, lowers blood pressure, helps in weight loss, relieves constipation and lowers bad cholesterol levels. This is aloe vera plant which is also kept at the at the front of my house it has antioxidant properties prevents cavities relieve relieves constipation shields burns lowers blood sugar and diabetics and Reduce uh, wrinkles. Thank you. So this was his presentation. Good Dakshin. And this was his presentation on. Um, uh, this was his Tulasi plan. Sorry, I was not. I didn't turn on my uh, presentation. His presentation. This was his Tulasi plant. And this was the benefits that he has got for it. And this is his beta leaves. It is in his home garden. And these are the benefits. And this is the hibiscus flower. Am I right, Dakshin? Yes. Very good. Now, Akka? Uh, yeah. Uh, see, it's uh, uh, a great thing to have herbal plants. I think uh, Mrs. Sumati Prakas is one among them. She grows lots of uh, uh, herbs with her and she really uses it. Not only growing it, uh, perfectly she uses it. And uh, I know uh, herbs, they stay for a longer time. So if you don't get time to, you mean, uh, uh, once in six months, you cannot uh, keep changing your vegetable garden. You can go in for your herbs so that you can uh, have a, uh, throughout the year, uh, you, know, you will be having your yield and you can use it for your health benefits. Uh, health benefits also very well explained. And uh, I think he will uh, grow into a big uh, herbal gardener in future. Thank you, Dakshin. Thank you. Now I call upon Aradhya. I'm presenting your uh, stuff. It's getting downloaded. My goodness, just hold on. Yes. Aradhya, can you unmute? Yeah, she just went. I see there's only two slides here. Okay, she has got only two slides. Huh? Oh, no, actually, she got four slides. Can you get ready, Aradhya? By then, I'll ask Atira to join. Atira? Where is your presentation, dear? You are presenting it, or I'll do it for you. It. Hello? Atira, you are presenting it, or should I do it for you? Uh, I could present it. Yeah. Please present your screen. Okay. Share your screen, ma. Can you see my screen? Yes, of course. Yes, good, dear. You start. Hi, my name is Atira, and I am going to gi be giving a tour of my garden. This is a picture before we started our garden. As you can see, there are lots of weeds and dried plants. Before we started our garden, we had to remove all of the weeds. After we removed all of the weeds, we started planting. Here is a picture of all the plants. There is tomatoes, purple bell pepper, tomatillos, cherry tomato, chives, strawberry, peas, thyme, mint, parsley, basil, oregano, watermelon, pumpkin, zucchini, tomatoes, chilies, eggplant. Pumpkins, pumpkins take about 100 days to grow. Tomatoes take about 50 days to grow. These are the plants and the time they take to, take to grow. 
Thomas Gills take about 75 to 100 days to grow. Chilies take about 60 to 150 days to grow. Eggplant takes about 100 to 120 days. Cherry tomato takes about 55 to 65 days. Strawberries take about two months. Peas take about 60 to 70 days. Chives take, chives take three months. Zucchini takes 45 to 55 days. Parsley takes 70 to 90 days. Basil takes three to four weeks to fully grow. Thyme takes 14 to 28 days. And oregano takes 45 to 45 days. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Plants are a big part of our ecosystem and we should always take care of it. Thank you. Hi, Akka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very nice and uh, I, I think they keep growing every year. That's the reason she has been able to tell how many days a plant can yield and how many days it can yield. Um, I, I, I can I ask you a question and how many days the tomato seed will sprout? Uh, we haven't been growing from seeds. We've been growing from plants. Okay, that's the reason you have been giving us uh, 60 days. You will get something like that, you know, like from the nursery, you take it as a, uh, a small plant and come and plant it in your uh, garden. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, nursery time will be about 15 to 20 days. You have to add that also into account. That's all. You are very perfect. You are noting down all the day, days and dates. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, and, uh, one more uh, question I'll put in here. Uh, how many days will a curry leaf uh, seed uh, take to grow? Or, uh, uh, um, uh, or else a uh, uh, tomato seed? After planting, it takes five days. Tomato, brinjal, and chilies. So likewise, you can uh, start experimenting it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good, Akira. Aradhya, you are ready with your presentation? Where yeah, is I it? I sent it. You want to present it or should I do it for you? Uh, can you present it? Could you press it? Where is it? I've not received your file. Huh? I you have whatever I have. I you sent it. it. You sent it already to me. What? To whom did you send, madam? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. I'll open it. It is just I downloading. Yeah. Is Aradia ready? Where is she? Please make it before I'm kids, my dear kids. Please send me a day in advance so that we, there is no delay in the program, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can present now. I play a presentation by Aradhya Piyakaran. Uh, play the video. So there's a video. Aradhya, I'll just present it. I don't know where you'll have to. I'll take up to the video point. You can Absolutely. do it from here. Actually, could you just please like press the button there? This one is it. The one over there, yes. Yeah. So first, I had to make. Um, I took the coriander seeds. Mm, I had to make a hole. Oh, I meant uh, mustard seeds. Sorry, mustard seeds. And then I put them in, made a hole, covered it up with the dirt. Then I took some more dirt, and the dirt always has to be smooth when growing these because when the dirt is stuck, it's it's not like it's not gonna like it's gonna be like more poofy. It's not gonna grow that well. So I put some nice smooth soil in, patted it, and uh, then I. Then I watered it. Aradha, I don't think we'll have time for a video presentation here because each and every video takes time. 
I can just present your screens, okay? Your slides. Yeah, and the next slide. And this is how much it grew after a few days. And then this is how much it. And the next slide. And this is how much it grew the next, the next day. Thank you. So Can I give the comment or you are you're completed, Aradhya? I'm completed. Okay. So, um, uh, the seeds, mustard seeds, how you have to sow. Each and every seed has a pattern, okay? So, single uh, seed like uh, lady's finger uh, and uh, uh, karamani, what do you call? Long beans. Long beans, long beans and all, no? Single, single seed. The way you planted this mustard, you have to plant. Since mustard and greens, you know, amaranthus, they are all very small seeds. You have to, uh, uh, when, uh, so it in a, uh, you should not store it in cluster. It has to be spread around the pot. So that is the only uh, thing uh, you have to take care. And uh, uh, about watering, I think you water daily. Aradhya? Aradhya, I think you have to unmute. I, th I don't think I, I, I saw a few days, but then it I actually grew. Yeah, it's okay. But, uh, you know, if you uh, every alternate day, you, you, if you give water and check how is the growth, and uh, you can tell your madam so that I will ask from her. Every alternate day when you give water, the growth will be really good. Okay. okay. See, for small babies, do we uh, strain them with lots of work with them? No, right? Yeah. Uh, the seed is a small baby. It's like inside the womb of a mother. Okay. So, it has to be, it is with the warmth. The so warmth condition you have to give. That should be moisture and warmth. Okay. When, the, uh, when they sprout and come out, you should not give them much water. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So every alternate day, you keep watering the seedlings. So they grow very well. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Aradhya. Well presented with the video. Good year. Hansen yeah. Next time, Hansen. I think they will show us with all the yield they get it. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. For sure. Uh -huh. And I'm saying I'm so sorry I was not able to present your video, but we had your audio and it was very good. Your presentation was very good, Hamsini. Thank you. Uh, I call upon uh, Jashwant now because he has his school, so I think you could present it and then leave. Others, can you please hold on? So I'm just changing the hierarchy uh, now. I'll ask Jashwant to share his screen. Uh, Jashwant, you are ready? Can you see yes. my presentation? You share your presentation, please, Jashwant. Can you guys see my presentation? Jashwant, are you presenting it? Yes, I am. Can you guys see it? No, we can't see your presentation. Let me just yeah, can see Jashwant's presentation. It comes and goes off. Jashwant, are you presenting it? You are able to share your screen, Jashwant? Uh, can you see? Can you guys see it now? Yeah. Yes. Start. Good, good morning. Good day to one and all. Present here. I am Jashwan Krishna, and today I am going to be presenting on the topic green fingers. So, before we start on, I really need to thank thank uh, Miss Malati for uh, conducting all these things because, especially since planting trees is very important and. Uh, Due to global warming and deforestation, they are very less peaceful. Yeah. So let's move on to the topic now. So before we go on, what does green fingers mean? Green fingers just tells the people who can easily plant trees without any, without being, who can easily plant trees. So after which, let's move on to what, why is it important to grow plants? Well, it is obvious that growing plants gives us all three main things we need for survival food oxygen and water 
How, how are they going to give us water? Of course, trees are very essential in raining. And also, trees are play an important part in the food chain. So, now my, my plant is a mango tree. So, this is actually my image of my mango tree. So, okay. So mango, the man, the tree the mango grows on is known as Magnifera indica, and it's, it's good to know that mango actually originates from India, and it is also the national fruit of India and is and is proudly called as the king of fruits. So how to grow a mango tree? Simple. So when you buy the seed, just take a ripe mango and then cut out the seed. Now put it in a big pot and cover it with soil and water it every day. After the, the tree grows big enough, you need to carefully remove the plant from the pot with some of the mud and plant it in a big open space, especially since the mango tree needs a lot of space to grow. And now, if you need to know when the fruits will come out, it will almost take five to six years for a ripe mango fruit to come out. There are also many varieties of mangoes. Some of them are Alfonso and Malgova. So conclusion, always give your hands to nature. Plant trees to, to be good. Thank you. Okay, Jashwant, a very good presentation. And uh, I know you have uh, uh, started growing mango tree in your house, right? So, uh, uh, they see mangoes, they have been crafted mangoes, comes in, uh, uh, can give the yield in three years. Uh, uh, the uh, seeds, uh, if it is grown with, with the seeds, it takes about five to six years. Um, if you want a crafting, you have to take a crafting, but you have grown through seed, it's a very good idea. Because, you know, we, we tend to lose our native fruit by uh, crafting them. So it's better we grow them with seeds. Yeah, good, very nice. Bye. Good, Jashwan. And I was also happy to hear about the topic green fingers. Yes, the topic green fingers means the hands that, but whatever they saw, it will grow well. That is what is uh, you emphasize. And thank you for emphasizing it, Jashwan. Thank you. Now I call I call upon Rishwan now. Can you press Rishwan your screen? Your uh, it is already presented. You can just share your presentation. Okay, your screen is already shared. You can just present your uh, thing. Rishwan, you can unmute and talk. Can you see my presentation? Yes, yes. Hi guys, once again. Hi guys. Guess what is my plant? It is a banana. Guess what variety of banana is it? Elaki banana. Fun fact. A small banana can do big things. This is a picture of my plant. Never judge a book by its cover. It means a small banana has a lot, a lot of energy than a big banana. So that the they call it as a elaki banana. Elaki banana is small and gives us a lot of energy. Mostly athletes and others use them because they, when they are running, they easily use a banana and get energy. And a lucky banana. Thank you. So, it's a good idea to grow banana because you need not keep uh, seedlings every uh, every now and then. One plant you keep, it, it, it multiplies on its own. Actually, you can give it away for your friends 
you have to actually cut it out and take it from there so vaalai adi vaalaiyaga appdin adukku dhaan vandu solranga adanal dhaan vaala maram vandu veetla irukiradhu nalladhu i hope uh, people here also know tamil yes right so you have to uh, and uh, uh, the tennis players you know they use lots of energy they just take a break and just take a mouthful of banana and come back so that itself is a proof that you know it gives more energy uh, it's a good uh, statement by uh, who spoke right now vishwan 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 it was a very good uh, example very nice thank you rishwan okay now i call upon kavana kavana you are ready should i start um sharing my screen yes dear can you please share your screen okay hold on let me put up hold on அம்மா <laughs> Meanwhile, can I can I ask call upon Disha to do it? Yes. Disha, okay, you are ready? I sent my PowerPoint. Okay, uh, yeah, I sent my PowerPoint. If the screen sharing doesn't work, can you please um do from that? No, I'll, I will I'll share my screen. Disha, I am presenting. Okay then. One second. Okay. I have downloaded your I have downloaded your presentation. I'll just share it once again. Just hold on. Disha, I think I don't share the screen. Disha, I've shared. Okay, I'm opening it for you, Disha. Can you see okay. my screen? Yes. Yeah, you can start, Disha. Hello, so, everybody. Now, so, now, meanwhile, you can look on how to present your screen. Otherwise, send it to me. Okay. Disha, you can start. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Disha. Today, I will be talking about my home garden. In in my home garden, I have three. uh four different areas i have my home garden fruits my home garden vegetables my home garden herbs and my home garden flowers first i will be talking about my home garden fruits in my home garden oh, my first uh, second side please thank you um first i will be talking about my home garden fruits in my home garden i have my red apple my green apple a banana tree some orange uh, an orange tree and a cherry tree uh, since it's winter in australia um some of the trees don't grow so i have taken photos of when it grew and um and put it here but uh orange trees uh, oranges are a citrus fruit which give you which gives you a lot of vitamins and they are easy to carry since they are small so if you ever need a healthy snack you can always go for an orange next up we have home garden vegetables next slide please thank you and i have a uh, three vegetable trees in my home but i'm still confused about one is uh, olives the olive tree has been growing for a whole year and there still hasn't been fruits which means i have learned from this study that olives don't grow very quickly in the tree they need to be big so that olives grow i also have a lemon tree and in the in uh, in the lemon tree we have loads of lemons they grow very quickly we have a small capsicum tree which grew capsicums that were very tiny it started off from a pot uh you can go to the herb slide now please thank you uh, in my house i have three different types of herbs i have a tulsi plant which is very healthy parsley which if you wash it you can even eat it raw and it tastes good in um uh, foods and we have mint which is good for its smell and its taste next slide please 
my home garden flowers. Um, in my home garden, I have a yellow hibiscus, a red rose, a red hibiscus, and a pink rose. And uh, I don't have a slide for this, but this is a fun fact. Um, if for some people gardening is very hard, imagine how f farmers have to do it perfectly um, for food so that they can give it and get money for that. And they have to have lots of experience because if they get it wrong, they won't get money. So um, it, it should, it's probably very hard for farmers to grow um, in the garden. But if they have experience, they can do it. Thank you for listening, everybody. Yeah, <clears throat> very well explained. Um, uh, capsicum grows as a grows as a tree or is it a plant? It's I think it's a plant. It's a plant, right? Okay. Um, so you, it's uh, good you referred a farmer. How difficult uh, it is for him to grow and uh, throughout the whole day he has to be under the sun growing uh, a paddy and uh, vegetables and fruits for us. So fruit trees doesn't require much of attention. Once uh, it is grown, it starts giving yield. But otherwise, you know, the vegetable garden, it uh, really needs lots of effort. Uh, uh, the farmer uh, uh, finds it very difficult, you know, in the hard sun. And uh, uh, it's not like a machine. The plants are not like a machine. You, you cannot, in a machine, you can say, I want so many brushes. I want so many paste. I want so many uh, you know, uh, whatever you make, you get it in the, uh, which can be made in the machine, you can measure it or you can, the quantity can be uh, specified. But in the case of a you know, field where the farmer grows, it all depends on the climatic conditions. Sometimes he may get yield, sometimes he may not get yield. So very good point, you referred a farmer. For him, it is not necessary, you know, in, the, in this COVID situation, where in India, people were not able to go out. You know, they started off with their terrace farming, but the farmer was the one who was working throughout without any, you know, any lockdown. He was able to work and he was able to take his own food. He was not dependent on anybody. So that's the reason uh, Thirukural, there is a Thirukural saying, That means, you know, a farmer is the one who uh, uh, makes his own food. Others all go behind them for food. So in the lockdown, I felt the farmers were the only one who were uh, having a very, uh, I mean, they were having a full freedom of working and they were enjoying their life. There was no uh, you know, restrictions for them. So the Thiruvall was saying is, uh, we have seen it. <laughs> yeah, very nice for referring about the farmer. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Tisha. That was so sweet of you. Let, let's take this moment to express our sincere gratitude to all the farmers who give us our daily bread. Thank you, Tisha. And can Thank I call you. upon Kavana now? Is she presenting the screen or should I present it for her? Tisha, can you help Kavana, please? I think Hi. I can do it. Yes. Uh, you are Kavana? Kavana, you are ready to begin your presentation? Yeah. Yes, super. We got your presentation. Good. So, um, so, um, hello, everybody. Talk about my red high biscuits. So these are some high biscuits information. An average high biscuits is seven feet, seven feet slash two point one thirty four meters tall. A high biscuits most in spring and and autumn. A high biscuits is from the family of Malvese. Malvasia. A high biscuit should be watered every two to three days. A, a 
cycle of the cycle of a red high biscuit. First, um, um, you get um, it's a fruit with seeds, and then you seed plant you plant the seed, and then germination happens. Germination is when you are like um, a seed grows like bigger and bigger, and then that um, small plant. It becomes into something called a sprout, and then after that sprout a bit bigger, it it it's called seeding, and then after it goes a teeny weeny bit bigger, it's called plant with buds, and then after that it is called a flower, which is called the red hibiscus, and yeah, so so this is a gallery. Um, two of them are what are in what are in my garden. Can you guess which two? Okay. Benefits of hibiscus. It is an antotype, antioxidant. It lowers blood pressure. It lowers blood sugar. It helps your heart lose. It helps. Help you lose weight. Thank you, everyone. A uh, great uh, uh, job, Kavna. Uh, see, one more benefit I'll tell you with the leaves. The leaves can be you can uh, 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 grind it in the mixer jar and you can uh, 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 use it like a shampoo. Uh, more than a shampoo, it this gives you so much of foam in it. So uh, hibiscus. Um, I, I don't know. I only grow with the stem cuttings. Uh, uh, I have not seen seeds in hibiscus. Is it available? Seeds available with hibiscus? Yes. Yes? Wow. You get it there in US? Yeah, I think. Australia. We got it in Australia. You're in Australia? Yeah. Okay, but I have never seen hibiscus seed here in uh, India. So I was just wondering when you started with seed of hibiscus. So great to know that we also can get seeds in uh, hibiscus. Um, so here we grow it with stem cutting. You just cut the stem of hibiscus and keep, you will find it uh, grow on its own. So uh, great job and uh, you can try out the shampoo, natural shampoo. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Kavna. Well, well, very well presented. Can I call um, upon Sai? Yeah, Kavna, you have something to say? Yeah, um, I only have 10% on my iPad. What? What is that, Kavna? You have something to say now? No, it's okay. Nothing. Okay, then. I'll call upon Sai now. Thank oh, you, yeah. Kavna. I'm presenting your screen now. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. The plant that we planted, well, and by we, I mean me and my mom, uh, we had taken is mint leaves. We planted mint leaves. Me and my mom had taken the root of a mint leaf that we had previously planted and placed it in a different pot. It is now growing really well. It took a few weeks to grow for it to grow this much. Plants that we have grown planted before: carrot, spinach, which is the big leaves on the second picture, garlic, which is the one with the long stem, and onions, the two on the bottom and the top. Lessons that I learned from gardening. I learned to be persistent because you need to have pick. Wait, no, wait. To be resilient because sometimes you might not get everything the first time. And to have patience because some plants can uh, take a long time to grow. And that it is a good family bonding time. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Uh, very well said, you know, you need patience, resistance, persistence. Very, very, very well said because, you know, uh, sometimes the seeds may grow, sometimes it may not at all grow. You know, even for a very experienced gardener, they have this problem. 
and you know like uh, you if you uh, people uh, at home jointly do a gardening work uh, it's like a, a joint yoga session all of you concentrate only on your plants don't talk about anything else so and you have a very good relaxation time in the garden so uh, very well said uh, i sai. didn't get his name sai sai oh, sai yeah very well said sai very nice presentation thank you very good sai uh, i was really mu moved by your lessons learned from gardening rather than watching tv together dine time planting trees is a very good and a valuable and noble thing great sai great to know from you that thank you thank you sai now i call upon uh, shivi shivi or bavi who is first in line may i know shivi yes can i go yeah can you present your screen if you have or you want to just talk i'm only going to talk yes please um one moment and uh, your your name is shivi right yes shivi yeah. so um i have planted a strawberry and um i have in the life cycle of a and uh i um so it the strawberry won't grow in 10 days it'll it'll grow in like a few weeks like 1 to 6 weeks it'll grow in the middle time of that and um the uh, the uh, seeds are really tiny of a strawberry the uh, the so the life cycle of a strawberry is first comes a seed germination then a seedling then an adult adult plant then pollination and then fruits with seeds facts about strawberries are the best months to grow strawberries are in between november and january uh the the strawberry can grow out of its plant in about 2 to 3 months strawberries sprout in between 1 to 6 weeks of time it's good to eat strawberries it's good to eat about 8 strawberries a day strawberries strawberry plants give you a stay there for 5 to 6 years on a strawberry there are about 200 seeds strawberries contain vitamin c strawberries are actually called berries it's just that um they were named strawberries strawberries don't make uh, strawberries um can help you with the weight loss um you should not eat strawberries when they smell or have moldy on them did you know that some strawberries are poisonous and thank you good shivi super uh very nice and uh, you explained you know uh, there are some uh, poisonous uh, strawberries also uh, uh, wild strawberries we are not supposed to put it in our mouth so good lesson learned from her good thank you shivi can you call uh, bavi to take the screen is bavi all presenting no 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 is it yeah no okay how can i call upon uh, neha bavi you are presenting no okay huh? can i call upon no. neha no 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 neha can you unmute and talk present your mama my audible yes yes okay now um, can i start right now ma'am yes please okay, yes please neha hi i am neha from grade 7 today i am going to talk about green fingers green fingers are green thumb means one who is very good at gardening and the plants grow well and to say in simple words to be good at gardening actually i have a plan to plan plan, plan to talk about green grams and we, and it came sprout but without knowing i'm doing for the project my grandfather ate it so it must be growing in his stomach okay. so uh, as i don't have any live plants to talk to, talk about today i'm going to talk about my favorite uh, vegetable sorry actually our favorite vegetable that is potato 
The scientific name of the potato is Solanum tuberosum. To plant potato in a garden, dig a trenches that are about 8 inches deep. And best kind of soil for growing up potatoes is loose soil that is slightly acidic. The ideal pH is between 5.0 and 7.0. And we can increase the acidity, acidity by tilling age, aged manure, mature compost or high potash fertilizer into the soil. Tilling the, tilling the soil will also break, break everything up and ensure that the soil is nice and loose for, potato, for the potato. In the trenches, plant the seed potatoes every 12 inches or so. Most important thing is the is the eye should be facing upwards. After a few weeks, the potato plants will begin, begin to sprout. Water the plant regularly to keep the moist. Potato like plenty of water, so it's important to keep the soil moist but not soaking wet while they grow. When potato plant reach, uh, reach a height of 6 inches, that is 15 centimeters, add more soil around the base of each plant. This is called hilling. Potato, plant, potato, plants, potato plants will do better when they don't have to compete with weeds. As weeds grow up, the garden beds will all, uh, pull uh, garden beds, pull or dig them out by hand, and to ensure the the potato will get all the nutri nutrients they need. Unlike many vegetables, potato thrive in darkness. That's why they grow underground. Potato can grow well in all sorts of climate. However, potatoes prefer cool, cool weather but not frosty. And potatoes should be planted two weeks after the last frost. Pick a sunny location to plant. Even though potatoes like cooler weather, they still love full sun and will do the best in, in an area that gets several hours of light each day. You can also plant potato anywhere you like, including directly on the ground or in garden be garden beds. The best time to plant the potatoes depends on the depends on where you live. Depending on the potato variety, they will they'll be ready to harvest anywhere from 70 to 100 days to harvest to harvest potatoes. Harvest new potatoes af after the plant stop flowering. Cut cut away the brown fo foliage when it start to die back. Dig them up gently on a dry day. Remove only the biggest potatoes and leave the small, uh, smaller one, uh, smaller one alone, so they can continue to grow. Don't leave harvested potato in in the sun for too long, as the sunlight can turn them green and toxic. Brush the dirt from the harvested potato and store them store the potato somewhere cool, dry, and dark. The true meaning of our life is to plant trees. So plant trees. Thank you. Uh, well said. Uh, the potato needs uh, lots of drainage. Uh, and you know, when you grow potato in a pot, uh, first you have to fill only the quarter pot and you keep place a potato. And then when it starts growing, each and every node, you start adding some more uh, 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 mud to it. So that, you know, lots of potatoes come. Only it needs to be uh, given uh, mud everywhere till it grows higher. And uh, very well said, it is, uh, 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 it needs, uh, when she uh, did mention about the drainage and, you know, uh, uh, also about uh, gathering the soil. For any root vegetable like you know uh, radish, um, carrot, tapioca, uh, sweet potato, all it, it it is all grown in a raised bed. If it is in a ground, it all grows in a raised bed. And we uh, after deweeding them, you know, once in 15 or 20 days, we deweed them and we gather the soil together so that more number of uh, root vegetables we get. So uh, very well said.
Thank you, Neha. Good to know about our native plant. And uh, Akka, I have a few more uh, kids who have sent me send me recorded video because uh, it is off their time zone. It is late night for them. They okay. have sent me videos. I would like to present it one by one. Okay. It will just take a few minutes. This is Sharma, who is the youngest in the team. Super. <laughs> Can you hear her? Her voice is not audible. One second, Ka. One second. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can play it now. Can yeah. everyone hear? Hello, everyone. My name is Shama Sadatha. Today, I'm going to show you my front yard. First thing I'm going to show you is my roses. I have, I have red roses, white roses, and pink roses. And if you cut them, they grow very good. And my dad puts cow proof of fertilizer in them. That makes it grow well, too. My Belinda, um, they can grow in brown, pink, and green, and they have thorns, and these are my favorite type of flowers. And then over here, we have some bushes. We have lots of bushes. Um, this one's almost dying because we haven't got them up water. And this one is magnolia, and they can grow in in different colors at the back. Sometimes some are green at the back too, but also some are brown. And we have this flower to bloom slowly. We just don't need to touch it. And then we have some more bushes. And then we have Jigaranda. And it, it's going from the bottom. This is also my favorite type of flower. When I was little, I was this height and the Jigaranda was this height. And now it's grown bigger than my dad and mommy. Thank you for listening and for, for listening to my video and me showing my garden to you. Thank you. Welcome, dear, and a very good presentation. I think she will become a, a, a very good gardener too in the future. <laughs> So this is uh, even she is Kanishka from US. Hello, welcome to our garden. First, we'll start with our tomatoes. We have many tomatoes, both ripe and unripe. We also have tomatoes over there too. Right next to our tomato plants, we have our green chili plants. If you look a little closely, you'll see one of our green chili plants. On the other side, you'll see our banana plant. Then our eggplant. Then our coriander, some of our bell pepper, cabbage, some more tomatoes, spinach, curry leaves, mint leaves, even marigold flowers, and lastly, onions. And that's my garden. Lovely. Hi, Ka. Uh, yeah, uh, it was very uh, nice tour. You know? Excited with the tomatoes. Uh, so I just was looking at them. So very, 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 very nicely planted garden. And their weather suits uh, very, very well. And, uh, you know, uh, I think um, we will go there and have a gardening session. We will sit there and grow for six months and come. <laughs> yeah, 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 waiting actually. Um, Teacher, Bobby has something yes. to say. He said it in the chat, but um, I don't know. 
she let she said let some, me, Bavi wants to say something. Yeah, let me check up on that. Before that, I'll play two other videos. Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about my gun. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. First, gardening is a very fun thing to do in summer and spring. So in summer we get lots of sunlight, so we can plant all our plants. But you have to make sure to put lots of water, or from the sun the plants will get overheated. Over here, I have two water cans. My mom bought them for our, my birthday. So to, every day, me and my brother use it to water our plants. Over here, we have a nice palm tree. And these are some indoor home plants. Over here, we have a nice Gerbera plant. These type of flowers go over spring and they come in nice red, dark color. Over here, we have a nice magnolia plant. In spring, they grow big white and yellow flowers. We have a chili plant here and a curry puff plant here. These, these just fruited um, two months ago. I'll show you a beautiful flower in our garden in the front yard. This is called a blue moon rose plant. It has just started flowering one month ago. We, it has two flowers on it. Over here, I'll show you a nice jasmine plant. It will only grow in summer and spring. And it will grow lots of, lots of leaves and plants. Over here, we have a nice mango tree. It has just start fruiting right there. I'll show you a hibiscus flower. This flower is in like a nice pink and whitish color. It grows every summer and spring. Over there we have another hibiscus plant. It is nice in purple and magenta color. Thank you for listening my gardening tour. Have a good day. Yes, she has explained about hibiscus. I think everybody likes hibiscus and hibiscus leaves can be used like a shampoo. That's a tip I'm giving because everybody seems to be talking about hi hibiscus. So yeah. our, uh, our expressions was as lovely as her garden as well. Yeah. <laughs> Now I just have one more uh, thing, student. I'm just loading his presentation. Yeah. Wow. So this is Ak Akshit. So I think he has sent a presentation instead of a video talk. Maybe I'll read it for him. Fenigrick. Fenigrick is, uh, once again, I'll go to the presentation mode. Fenigrick is a type of greens. Let's see about it. Uses. A very common spice and green in Indian kitchen as dried leaves, sprouts, and microgreens. Uh, if you use it as a medicine, use it limitedly. I think he planted it actually. He was the one who did the complete uh, stretch right from planting, he has done. Okay. So there are two types of fenugreek white and yellow flower. If you want to use it as a herb, you should cut half it, cut, cut half it before the flower blooms. The yellow flower plant can regrow multiple times if you cut it in half while the white flower will only grow once if we cut it or not. So if you want to see how the seed is obtained from the plant, let the flower blossom and the pods are grown from it. Fenugreek seeds will be inside these ponds just like the peas. So that's it from him. Yeah, uh, fenugreek plant, you know, uh, it can be cut and used in seven days. Uh, it is a microgreen. The microgreen has a very good uh, 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 nutrients. So, uh, uh, like here in uh, Chennai, all of you know, like we make methi chapati or uh, uh, or uh, the uh, uh, fenugreek leaves on seven days when you cut, you can use it in your uh, sambar also. You, you can make some uh, dal and uh, uh, add these uh, uh, fenugreek leaves and uh, eat. So, it's a good thing and he's done, uh, he's done on his own and I think he's done it very nicely. Uh, yeah. The sprouting is shown very, uh, very nicely here. Yeah. 
Yeah, he Actually, also... you know, like we in my farm, uh, we used to grow this microgreen. We used to use half a kg of uh, fenugreek seeds and we used to cultivate and take 100 bundles, you know, 100 bundles from half a kg of fenugreek seeds. And that used to be a very difficult task because, you know, it needs more uh, compost and the bed has to be raised and wa the water has to be drained properly. So first day we show, sow the seeds and the third day we keep watering. The watering should not be much and like, you know, you have to only sprinkle water on top of it. So when doing it in the pot, it is easy. When doing it in a farm, you know, it, uh, it's really uh, very difficult. And uh, uh, this is a fungal plant. It, uh, it gets affected very easily by fungus, fenugreek. So what we used to do is we used to, uh, you know, have a one set of bed, which will be always, you know, the soil will be tilted and dried and sun dried. And then after a week only, we used to plant, I mean, uh, sow the seeds. So very difficult one, but this child has done a very good job. Very good. Yeah. So he has also mentioned the properties of it, like the climate in which it has to grow. And yeah. the day, like it takes seven days to germinate. It grows two to four inches thick. And uh, it needs sunlight, water, and make sure you have to water it daily. Exactly. In Chennai climate, it grows from, uh, it grows very well from uh, July, not, not even July, August. Till uh, February, we can grow this fenugreek microgreens. Uh, in uh, peak summer, we will not be successful in growing uh, in the farm. But of course, the balcony gardeners, uh, you know, because they have the semi-shade, uh, they can uh, definitely do it. Uh, throughout the year, the balcony gardens, uh, gardener can do it. Okay. I think Sumati is here, uh, the balcony gardener. <laughs> she, you, even she has something to speak. So before uh, that, uh, uh, there was one more girl. Bavi, you would like to speak? Yes, please. Um, I don't have anything to like uh, share, but I do want to talk. Yeah, yes, please. Please do. Um, so I've talked about, uh, I've written about marigolds. Um, I'm Bavia and I'm Bavia and I'm going to be talking about marigolds. So let's start. Garden marigolds are annuals. Which mean, which means they germinate, grow bare flowers, and die all in one growing season. Generally, generally, the the maximum lifespan, um, lifespan is less than a year. Marigolds take about. A I am Achut. I have chosen the green fenugreek. I chose fenugreek because it is easy to grow and it can be grown in any temperature indoors. Let's see about fenugreek. Fenugreek is a type of green. Uses a very common spice and green in Indian kitchen as dried leaves, sprouts and microgreens. If you use it as medicine, use it limitedly. Fenugreek chapter 2 Types There are two types of fenugreek White and yellow flower If you want to use it as a herb You should cut it Cut half of it Before the flower blossoms The yellow flower plant Can easily grow multiple times If you cut it in half While the white flower Will only grow once If you even cut it in half Cut it or not if you want to see how the seed is obtained from the plant, let the flower blossom and the pods are grown from it. The fenugreek seed should be inside these pods just like the peas. Fenugreek chapati Growth Fenugreek needs to grow in a tropical weather. If you don't have a tropical weather, you can grow it indoors. From the day the seeds are potted, it takes 7 days to germinate. It will grow 2 to 4 inches in about 4 weeks. It needs sunlight and little water. Make sure you water it daily. Let's see. Let's see a video that will show you. Stages of growth.
Thank you for watching. A few days to give the spout only if you take proper care of it and give it water daily. Then in about eight weeks you will see a bloom. As they are frost tender plants, frost tender plants will die with the first frost in autumn or winter depending on the weather they're grown in a warm or cool climate in hot summer climates they can take a bit of afternoon shade though they can still handle full sunlight all day long they tolerate clay soil but prefer good, even drainage. Marigolds have medium water requirements. You can start marigold seeds indoor yourself eight to six, six to eight weeks before the last frost. You find a host of good reasons to plant marigolds in garden beds, starting with their cherry color and easy growing ways. Marigold flowers are lovely, providing your garden with multiple blooms in shades of yellow, orange hills, and, and golden bronze. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby, there is one more good quality of marigold. Marigold, we use it as a trap crop. You know, yellow flowers attract uh, lots of insects. So, whichever is yellow, you know, we always uh, uh, take uh, all the, uh, 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 attract all the insects. So, before it, uh, the other, uh, other plants are infected, we can find the pestis inside our garden and we can have a pest repellent for all the other plants. So, it's a trap crop. Well done, well said. Well said, Bobby. And uh, we have Mrs. Sumati Prakash here who owns a balcony garden and she's an expert in it. She has few words to share with us. Yes. Good morning, good evening and good night to all the little lovely kids and my best friend, mentor, Mrs. Malati. Who said uh, uh, get good yield. So any doubt you can pass it on to Banu uh, so that I will give her the input which you which will help you to grow more plants from your side that's it thank you Bano. Thank yeah you, I see the kids so are doing a wonderful job i'm so happy i was able to spend good time with them yeah thank you thank you so much akka because i asked you one hour but i took one and a half hours and sorry for that thank you so much for your valuable time in spite and of your you know, Sumati, i need to mention one thing you know green fingers uh, when I visited her in 2016, I think, in uh, Singapore, um, I went to meet her with some seeds. And I sowed some seeds in her, uh, in her pot and it started growing. And she became very enthusiastic. Every, every uh, when, uh, now and then she used to have some problems in growing them. She used to ask me and take tips. And now she's become a very good balcony gardener. I'm I'm so happy to see her plants, uh, so many plants in her balcony, and she uses it very well in her daily food. So that's uh, more important. That is more important. You know, you, you grow and you consume it. Uh, that's uh, Josh. Yeah, you can take over, Bano. Thank you, thank you so much, Akka. And to yeah. my dear kids, you have done a very noble job. Like today's event was really worth it because it is for a noble cause as well. It covers a holistic approach like environmental, societal, and noble in the sense you have donated for the event and the children were very much thankful to you guys. So I'm sharing their, uh, I'm expressing their thanks on, the, uh, on their behalf. I'm expressing thanks to you guys. It was very useful for them and their blessings for you all. Thank you so much. And to all my dear uh, parents who were the pillar support of this academy for supporting me and even encouraging me and giving me wonderful ideas to take it ahead in each and every event. We go step up, step up. Thank you so much, everyone. So love you all. So see you all with the next event with next interesting topic. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, dears. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> bye dears. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.